Hey everyone, Ray Sawville, RaySawville.com. In today's video, we are going to be going through quality score and how to improve it throughout your account. So if that's the type of video you're looking for, make sure to stick around. Quality score is extremely important when it comes to your advertising campaigns. It's a ranking factor that grades you on a scale of 1 to 10, and it tells you how you are performing compared to other advertisers, and it takes relevance into account, and it makes sure that whatever your ad is saying, it ties to your keyword, to your landing page, to your ad copy. So there's a lot of relevancy. You're going to hear a lot of buzzwords around that during this video, and that's going to be extremely important to remember. So keep that in the back of your mind. So... For purposes of this video, my client is going to be me, RaySawville.com, and I'm going to be having several ad examples to kind of showcase how quality score can be impacted throughout the account. The first thing to understand is all of the actual components of quality score, and there are three major ones, but these six different ones that um, Site Checker actually put together do a pretty good job encapsulating everything. The three major things you're going to be looking at is ad relevance, landing page experience, and then click-through rate. Um, now, Google's quality score does look at a lot of this. So you have your keyword relevance, your ad relevance, your click-through rate, also your landing page experience. There is a component of historical performance in your campaign. Google in the past has said that your account historical performance has been a major factor. I don't have a lot of insight when it comes to historical performance today, but just one thing to keep in mind that you don't see a major swings in quality score over time. And then there are, are other relevancy factors. Now, interestingly enough, Bing put together a really good graphic that I found very helpful when it comes to quality score. So the three major factors here, click-through rate, ad relevance, and landing page experience. It's rated typically on a factor of, is it average, above, or below average? Um, Expected click-through rate is just how relevant somebody finds your ad if they search for digital marketing expert Milwaukee. And if somebody clicks on my ad more often than not, my click-through rate is going to increase. So the higher the click-through rate, typically the better. This factor is based on an industry benchmark. Google doesn't share what that expected click-through rate is for your niche. So typically, the higher the better. Ad relevance is exactly what it sounds like. If I am targeting digital marketing expert, my ad better have digital marketing expert in it, in the headline, in the description, in the pathing if possible. The more you can include your target keyword inside of your ad naturally and not keyword stuffing is gonna be better for you. And then finally, landing page experience. Again, the example with digital marketing expert, if I am targeting digital marketing expert, I better have digital marketing in my title tags, I better have it in my content as the header tags, I better have it on my website in several places so when google goes out and sees it it understands that from a contextual standpoint the keyword that i'm that i am hitting is relevant back in old school ppc land like eight or nine years ago it used to be big dog would win if you had the most amount of budget you can just chuck money at google um you know over the past like five to six years it's now really focused on like relevancy where smaller advertisers can compete with like the big dogs so if you have the most relevant content and your quality scores are higher than your competitors you're going to be able to pay less for more or the same amount of traffic so this is where you can make huge gains over time in your account and by improving your quality score from like a six to an eight, nine, or 10, you're gonna notice decreases in cost per click and you're just gonna gain so much more over time. Compounding effects, guys, stick with it. The next piece we are going to explore here briefly is how do I view my quality score in my account? Um, all you have to do is go to your search campaigns within your account, throw on a custom column at the keyword level or the campaign level, search for quality score, you can get quality score here, or you can also add all of the different factors of quality score. So I can add an ad relevance, I can do expected click-through rate, or you could find the quality score sub column here, and you can add in the historical um, information, and you can add in literally every single facet of quality score here, which will be great. So what'll happen is the columns will add here, and then the keywords that you are targeting, it'll say for digital marketing expert, my landing page experience is average, my ad is above average, and my click-through rate is below average. So that'll kind of tell you like how to hone in and how to craft your ad in order to increase that quality score over time. Now, the next part of this video is going to be how do I increase my quality score for blah. So let's start with expected click-through rate. Now, this, in my opinion, is the hardest one to increase because honestly, it just comes down to 
You got to write better ads. You need to have more ad extensions. Your ad needs to be good. It just can't be crap. You need to have good ads to ensure that people are actually clicking on them. Again, relevancy, it needs to be relevant to the keyword that you're targeting. And then wherever, whatever point in the funnel they are in, you want to make sure your ad is targeted to that person. There's going to be a link in the upper right-hand corner of this video that you can click on to look at the marketing funnel and how that may be impacted across everywhere. Check that out. Some good stuff with uh, Ben Page. Um, make sure to check that out. Um, I'm going to skip ad relevance because that's going to be the meat of this video here. Landing page experience, again, to improve landing page experience, it's as simple as it sounds. You go to the website and you increase those keywords on your landing page or meta descriptions or title tags, stuff like that. You include your targeted keyword more often on your landing page. Now, sometimes it's very easy. If you have different services, you might be able to point to a different page. Um, if you don't have access to the back end, you, there's not a lot you can do yourself. If you have a client that is working and responsible for the website, you may have to make recommendations for them to make changes to the website. So keep that in mind. And then the final piece, the piece that I feel you can impact today is ad relevancy. So this is how do you have that keyword to add connections. So what I did, there, there's a tool called AnyWord that I was kind of messing around with where I just took my website. It mocked up a ton of different ad solutions. These aren't things that I went out and wrote myself, but I thought it gave a pretty good idea of different ad variations and how they can be improved from an ad relevancy standpoint. So let's say my keyword is digital marketing expert, and I want to improve the ad relevancy of that keyword. This top ad right here, it it, this tool is ranking it as one of the top ads and it's, it's a decent ad. It's, you know, weekly videos. I share my knowledge on how to grow your business or brand online, subscribe. Um, if I'm targeting digital marketing expert for my keyword, this ad will likely have lower ad relevancy because if I look for digital marketing, this ad doesn't call it out at all. So you just really have to make sure that your ad is paired to the keyword that you're targeting in your ad group. Again, in the upper right-hand corner of this video, there will be a link to an account structure video. That video will help tell you how to structure your account. So a lot of this um, structure piece should make sense for you. So keep that in mind. Now, a really good example for the digital marketing keyword would likely be this second ad right here. It mentions digital marketing a couple times. Same thing with this ad right here. You just wanna make sure that you're peppering in your target keyword throughout your ad copy, throughout your headlines, and throughout your descriptions. So just extremely important when writing ads. So. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with this tool AnyWord here. If you do, let me know down below in the comments. I think that could be pretty cool. It seems like it's a pretty decent tool. It mocked up a, a decent chunk of ad copy that I can keep an eye on and potentially explore for some clients on the line. Let me know if you have experience with that down in the description, please. Um, but yeah, I mean, there you have it. That's how you can tackle ad copy and quality scores specifically for your accounts. Let me know if you have any questions, if I missed anything, if I can help provide any clarity, but the major reason for increasing quality score right away is you can have a major, major, major impact on the cost that you are paying today. If you improve your quality score from a six to even to a seven, you're going to be paying less for more. So typically when I get an account or if I notice a major shift in quality score, that's one of the first things I'd like to tackle right away because you can make a major impact right away. Imagine working with a brand new client and you can say client, um, you might not say like I increased your quality score from six to seven, great, I'm awesome, awesome, great. You may say I increased my quality score from a six to a seven and as a result, we paid less for the same amount of traffic and ultimately it should lead to more conversions to higher quality score. It doesn't always work out that way, but it's just more relevancy and Google rewarding you for writing better content. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did find this type of video helpful, please consider subscribing. Um, one thing that I'm starting to as well is I have a discord server that I started. Link will be down below in the description. Come hang out. Um, I'm, I'm making it for digital marketers. My goal is to make this uh, channel a really uh, thriving place for digital marketers out in the place to just kind of talk, ask questions, um, and collaborate and work together and share experiences. So if that sounds like something for you, check out the link below um, down in the description for the Discord. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Talk with you next time. Thanks. Bye.